In this lecture, we are going to continue the modeling of a blower. So if you go to Creo, in the previous lecture, we have created this part. Now, if you go to the drawing, you can see it has a thickness of 0.2. So first of all, we need to apply a thickness and you can see there is a radius. So the fillet is of value 1.5 and here it is 0.5. Okay, now let's go to Creo, go to round feature, insert value 1.5 and we need to create round on all four edges. So select this edge, select this edge, similarly select all these edges. Now click OK. We need to create a round one more time. I will go to round once again, insert value this is 0.5. And now select this edge. Click OK. After that we can create a shell of this. So I will go to shell and then we need to select the body so it is body one the selected. Click on remove face and let's say I will select this face. Insert value thickness 0.2. Also I have to remove the surface from here. So click on this remove surface and then Hold down the control key, select this face. So we have selected two faces from here. Click OK. Now you can see the mouth of blower is shown here. If you go to the drawing, we also need to create its mounting. So from one side, it has a mounting like this. On the one side, there is a hole. So we need to create a cutout of 4.88 and then 1.5 on the other side. So go to extrude and select this face. So this value, this is draw a circle. This value of radius is 4.88. Click OK. And then reverse the direction. OK. We need to create this sketch properly. So click on edit once again. Click on line from this end point up to this end point. Draw a line like this. Trim this extra part. Click OK. Now reverse the direction. And we need to remove the surface only of this face. So here go to the depth and click on until next. So when you select the until next, it is going to trim the surface for the next surface. Click OK. And then we need to create a hole from here. So I will go to extrude, click on this face and here go to circle and then draw a circle. Radius of the circle is 1.5. So click on line and draw a line like this. Trim the extra parts. Trim this circle and trim this arc. Click OK. Now once again go to reverse the direction. Click on to next. Click OK. So now you can see this mounting profile has been completed. If you go to the drawing, for the mounting we also have to create a hole. And here also you can see this profile at a distance of 15 from both sides. So this is 0.4 thickness. So go to Creo once again and turn on all the plane display. And here we need to select right plane. So go to extrude, select this right plane. Now we can turn off all the datum display. From here draw a rectangle, corner rectangle from this point. So this value from the drawing is 0.4 and from the center line, click on the center line and this value, this is half of 15. So this is 7.5. Click OK. Extrude it on both directions. Symmetric. This value is 8. Click OK. Now onto this mounting, we need to create the mounting holes. So if you go to the drawing, you can see Hole are at a distance of 2. There are 4 holes. 
total number of 8 on both sides so this is 0.41 in diameter and the gap is 0.75 from other side okay so I will go to hole and select this face diameter is 0.41 pick up this arrow up to this edge pick up this arrow up to this edge from this edge this value is 2 from other edge this is 0 0.75 click ok we need to create pattern of hole so I will go to hole click on pattern here go to direction for the direction I will select this edge number of holes I want 4 spacing between them is 2 we have to reverse the direction reverse it click ok ok we have specified one extra hole so go to pattern edit definition let's say this 3 click ok ok so distance from the edge is 1 not 2 go to this first of all expand this pattern go to this hole edit definition so this value 2 is actually 1 click ok now go to pattern edit definition number of member is 4 click ok now you can see hole on both side so I will pick up this pattern pick up this extrude hold down the control key and then click on mirror turn on the plane display now I want to mirror this with respect to this plane click ok and now you can see the mounting has been completed so in this way you can create a mounting blower